Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has been released from a Melbourne hospital. The 48-year-old was admitted to the Alfred Hospital last week after falling down a flight of stairs and injuring his spine. Reporter Stephanie Ferrier joins us now from Melbourne. Hi Steph, what's the latest on the Premier's condition? Good afternoon, Roz. Yes, the Premier Daniel Andrews is now recuperating at home after being discharged from the Alfred Hospital this morning to begin what doctors are calling a significant period of rehabilitation. As you mentioned, it's now six days since he slipped on those wet stairs at a holiday home on the Mornington Peninsula and he was very quickly taken to hospital. Now, the doctors there are saying that they have been pleased with his progress so far and the fact that he's responded well without the need for surgery. However, they have stressed the importance importance of time in healing such serious injuries because after all he did fracture his T7 vertebra and several ribs in that fall. We have a statement from the Director of Trauma Services there, Professor Mark Fitzgerald, and he has said that as the rehabilitation journey gets underway, we will watch closely for any signs of worsening spinal stability or alignment, as well as the development of other complications. Any deterioration may lead to the need for surgery down the track. However, we're gradually progressing in the right direction at this time. So he is now saying that the important work of the Premier regaining his strength and stability must now begin. And in order to do so, he is going to have to wear a back brace just to make sure that he keeps his spine in alignment, also to control that pain. And Professor Fitzgerald says that physiotherapy really is going to be the key. Key. The Premier Daniel Andrews was uh, shown in a picture that he actually tweeted on Saturday wearing that back brace. He tweeted that picture to say that it was good that he was actually out of intensive care and he was happily settling into what he called his new digs in the general ward at the Alfred. But obviously that hasn't lasted for too long before he's been able to be discharged. Last night he also tweeted some lovely pictures of artwork from some of his youngest supporters. They were kids from the Alfred Child Care Centre and they have been giving him some very childlike get well soon messages. He has tweeted saying that those images are going to be going straight to the pool room. So it's good to see that at least he has continued to keep his humour despite his ordeal. This morning we heard from one of his senior government ministers, Jacinta Allen, and she says that it's really an important time now for the Premier to focus on his recovery. She says that it is a really positive sign that the doctors have deemed that he is obviously well enough to continue his rehabilitation out of hospital and in home where he can still receive the best medical care but also have the very special care and support of his wife and kids. It's been really heartening to see the news come through this morning about Daniel's uh, recovery, that he is obviously um, still got a, a journey ahead, but he's recovering strongly and we continue to wish him all the very best and we'll hold the fort in Parliament this week whilst he continues his important focus on his recovery. And so Jacinta Allen has also added that the Premier does really love his job and he's often very passionate and committed to the workings of government. Some say he is quite a hands-on manager, particularly that we've seen throughout this coronavirus crisis. So she does anticipate that he is going to be keeping an eye on the workings of government. However, he is also sensible enough, she says, to really be focusing on himself and his recovery. In the meantime, his deputy is going to be stepping up into his shoes. That is James Molino, the acting Premier. Now, he will be taking the floor of Parliament tomorrow when that resumes. This will be the last sitting week for some six weeks and James Molino also says that he is going to be having discussions with the federal government about being able to take a place on the national cabinet as well when it sits. Normally national cabinet does not allow for proxies to replace premiers but given the fact that this is going to be more than just a matter of a day or two mm. uh, he believes that that will be an appropriate way of going forward. Extenuating circumstances I think they call that. Steph, thank you.